guys, welcome back to my vegan kitchen. It is freezing today, that's why I'm wearing a blanket dress. <laughs> Soup is on the menu today because it is real feel, 11 degrees outside, and this is a real soul satisfying warmer. This is just as good as having a heated blanket, almost. It's mushroom, barley, soup. Mushroom, barley, soup. The smell from this right now is amazing. I wish you guys could mm. smell it. Maddie was just trying to eat all the little things that I had prepped. <laughs> Stop it! All right, so we're going to do ours in the Instant Pot today, but you could totally do this on a Dutch oven on top of the stove. I would cook it for about 40 minutes after the boil, you know, bring it up to a boil. Let it simmer for 40 minutes, same deal, except this is way quicker. The magical triangle of goodness, the mirepoix, carrots, onions, celery. It is the basis of like every savory French dish. That's what, that's the holy trinity. So we're going to start by putting this in the pot. You don't have to like saute it or anything. You just put it, this is basically a dump recipe. You just dump everything in and hope for the best. And the best is, it's gonna be pretty good. Pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty good. Okay, Larry. Yeah, <laughs> we've been watching a lot of Curb lately. Can you tell? All right, so we've got our Holy Trinity in here. Well, you must be saying to yourself, uh, but the star of the show is the mushrooms. Yes, it is. And we have a giant bowl of beautiful, meaty tasting portobello mushrooms here that I smashed. This is probably, oh, I should have told you ingredient, that in the ingredient <laughs> list is going to be in the info box. We're not really going to talk amounts right now. But do know, if you have a little bit less of something, or a little bit more, it's not going to be a big deal. So don't worry about it so much. All right, so I'm just going to dump in the mushrooms as well. I smashed them, washed and smashed them. Oh, looks so good already. Then, of course, you can have soup without some delicious garlic in there as well. So I'm going to put some uh, Lazy Girls garlic in there. That's what I like to call it. I like to buy mine already done because... I'm, I'm a busy woman. We've got one can of diced tomatoes. If you have fresh tomatoes, use fresh tomatoes, but I like the convenience of can. It's already prepared for me. Also, I would add, when you put that in, go fill up the can with filtered water and put another can of just the water in there as well. We've got some uh, barley. I was gonna say bailey. <laughs> Baileys, anyone? No, we've got some uh, barley. I'm gonna put that in as well. Uh, pepper, because I love the taste of pepper in soups. It adds so much. We're probably gonna do about 12 grounds. Can I get a, a tote on that? That might have been more than 12. I don't know. It smells amazing though. <laughs> the only seasoning other than the pepper that we're putting in is thyme and thyme. <laughs> right? This is what's going to give it the flavor, besides the mushrooms and everything else, of course, the um, bouillon. So we're going to do about three teaspoons worth. We're not going to add any extra salt because the bouillon has a lot of salt in it already and frankly that's just too much salt. So we're just going to go with that. And then final ingredient water. I'm going to add just a little bit more because I didn't fill up my tomato can and we're going to pop this on the instant pot for 15 minutes. I always push pol poultry because it's set for 15 and that's usually what these recipes call for. So I'm going to put the lid on this 15 minutes later of steam pressure. I thought you said you had to add the water. Well, I will, but this is for the magical. Oh. <laughs> Don't go behind the curtain. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do 15 minutes of pressure and we'll be back. All right, I let it release the pressure uh, naturally and it looks amazing. Now, there's uh, one optional thing right here. 
I had two uh, tofurkey that I had to use up, the kielbasa sausage. So I just cut that up and I'm going to add it to it, but it's totally optional. You, it's really good without the sausage, but it's just that I had to use it up. Also, a tip, if you're making something like this and you add the sausage, don't do it under pressure with the sausage because uh, tofurkey is a wheat meat and it's going to soak up the liquid like a sponge and it's going to be like a wet sponge. <laughs> so. Do it at the end, right before you're ready to serve. It will heat up enough, I promise. This is something that doesn't have to cook. It just needs to be heated up. And if you slice it thin enough, it should heat it up uh, pretty quickly. So add it at the end. All right, it's all plated up. And I have a husband over here who's ready to taste it. Are you going to have the big bowl? What is this, like Goldilocks here? Yeah, Daddy gets the big vegan bowl of mushroom barley soup <laughs> used to be the big piece of chicken now it's the big bowl of vegan soup right it's very cold out by the way i let it, it sit for a little so that you wouldn't hurt yourself thank you it's like 23 out right now is it mm. Mm. is it good it is wow i hope you enjoy that sir hope it warms your soul mm. there you have it I hope you try it out. Winter is coming. <laughs> so make some mushroom barley soup. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this type of video and subscribe for more. And until next time, much love.